Alrighty, so we're just gonna jump right in. First, I'm using the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Foundation in the shade 20 Beige, just like a flat top foundation brush. And I'm gonna blend that into my skin. I'm then gonna take one of my favorite concealers, which is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, and I'm just gonna go under, underneath my eyes. And if anybody suffer, <clears throat> and if anybody suffers with uh, dark circles, this is like a really great concealer um, because not only does it brighten underneath, but it uh, conceals those dark dark circles. Once the under eyes are blended in, I'm going to take my second favorite concealer, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I use the shade Light to Vanilla, and I'm going to use that around my nose and to cover any blemishes that I have. And then I'm blending all of my concealer in with the same brush that I use for foundation. And because I want my skin to look really radiant and glowy, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. And that looks like this, um, with just a regular powder brush. I'm going to set my foundation and my concealer with this powder. I love this powder because it gives just like a, a really beautiful like satin skin like finish instead of making you look really matte. Um, some people use it as a highlighter. This shade is too close to my skin tone to really show up as a highlighter, but if I use one of the lighter ones, it could definitely be used as a highlighter as well. I'm gonna use a different bronzer today, actually. I'm not using my NARS Laguna, which is my favorite. Uh, I'm actually using the Chanel bronzer, and I wish I could pronounce the name of it for you, but I can't, so I'll type it right here or link it down below. Um, but it's gorgeous. It has this like beautiful flower pattern, um, and it's just really warm. So taking a big fluffy brush, dipping it in, and just kind of working it in this area right here, my cheekbones, and then just a little bit down my neck. This is one of those luxury items that you pick up and you're like, oh, is it going to be worth it? Like, is it going to be a good product? Because it's so expensive and this actually is a really great product. So definitely don't regret buying it. Y'all, it's snowing right now and I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Like, this is crazy. This happens like maybe once a year. I don't think it's going to stick, but it's fun to look at. After I finish bronzing my skin, I'm going to move on to blush, and today I'm using the Marc Jacobs 214 Promiscuous. It's just like this gorgeous pink shade. Um, just uh, my MAC brush, the one that I use all the time. Um, dabbing it in, and just putting the apples in my cheeks, and then back. I'm using one of my favorite highlighters today, and that's the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I have this little paper towel in here because it's cracking and it makes me sad, so I'm trying to prevent the cracking by keeping something in here that'll keep it all pressed in so it's not shaking everywhere when I carry it in my makeup bag. Um, I'll try and hold it up. It looks like that. It's gorgy. And I'm just taking a little fan brush, dabbing it in, and going right above where I placed that blush. I'm also going to take this just down the center of my nose a little bit, and right there. Cupid's bow. And I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but this is just a really pretty pearl, creamy highlighter that's just gorgeous um, in person, and hopefully it's coming up on camera as well. So for my eyes today, I'm going to use the Seat London Olivia uh, Palermo Palette. I got this at Sephora, and nobody's been talking about it, but it's one of my favorite. It's so beautiful. Um, so I'm going to be sticking to these side, this side over here, these like rosy tones, um, and it has this beautiful cream shade um, for your eyebrow and to blend. Um, and then this side has like a warmer brown, this like beautiful deep green, this gold, and um, just like a lighter cream shade. Gorgeous palette. I'm going to take this shade right here, which is just this beautiful rose gold, and dab a brush into it and just place it right on my lid.
I'm then gonna take this Urban Decay two-sided brush, this came in one of the Naked palettes, um, and use this, uh, oh, there's a hair on it. And I'm going to use this side, uh, which has like a tapered, it's like a pretty long, but it comes kind of to like a tapered point, and this is just gonna be great for like blending in my crease, not getting too strong of a line in my crease, but just deepening this area right here. So for that, I'm going to use this matte shade right here, it's kind of like a, um, a light plum, dipping it in really lightly and just darkening up the, the crease. tell from this but I'm not somebody that really likes like sharp angles in my eyes um, like layering like five different eyeshadows and having these sharp angles like I, I like to like make it all kind of like blended together um, and not like it's not there but just not so sharp and angular um, I just like it to look like if I'm gonna do something smoky I want it to be soft um, and you've you've probably seen that in my tutorials so far but that's just my personal style you guys can do whatever you want I'm then going to take that first brush again that has just that little bit of rose gold on it and just blend those two together. So if we're being honest, I haven't plucked my eyebrows in a little while, so don't judge me. Um, but I'm going to use this cream shade right here, bring it up to the brow, and hopefully conceal some of these hairs that like, I have not taken care of. <laughs> So I'm just dabbing like a big fluffy brush into it and I'm just going to go right here like below my eyebrow. Also blending these two shades together. A darker plum in this cream. I'm then going to take this brown liner uh, from Stowaway Cosmetics. Um, it's teeny tiny, um, but it's a really pretty brown and this shade is called Spice. And I'm just gonna go in really messy on my lash line with this because we're just gonna blend it out in a second. I'm gonna grab that same Urban Decay brush that we used, uh, this tapered end, um, and I'm gonna flip it around and then there's this really thin pointed end, if you can see that. Um, and I'm gonna use that just to blend in my liner. really smudging it in to that lash line. I went ahead and curled my lashes and now I'm going to be using this Marc Jacobs, what is this called? Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. I actually got this at Sephora um, as like a 100 point perk or something um, and I've heard good things about it so I wanted to try it. And I actually really like it. So I'm gonna use this up and probably pick up the full size. Um, but it has this nice thick brush to definitely like a, a really thick, consistency it's not like thin and watery which i like um and it just gives the lashes like this nice like volumized lengthening look to it i'm then going to take that same liner from stowaway and i'm just going to go into my waterline my lower waterline and when i do this i just kind of pull it down a little bit so i can access this waterline a little easier And then I'm going to take that same Urban Decay brush, uh, the pointier pencil side, and I'm going to dab it in that same plum color that we used um, at the beginning to deepen our crease. And I'm just going to blend in the lower waterline. I'm just going to take that same uh, brush just because it's in my hand, and I'm going to dab it in this, which is like um, very similar to the highlighter. In fact, if you wanted to use the highlighter, you totally could, but this is just in my hand right now, so I'm going to use this. Um, and I'm going to dab this like cream shimmery shade right into like the corner of my eyes. Just using that same brush just to make it easy. Just to brighten this up a little bit. Like I said, my eyebrows are already semi out of control, so I'm not gonna do anything too crazy to them. Um, but I am going to use my hourglass pencil brush, which 100% of this has been rubbed off. Um, but this is great because it has this little spoolie on the end. Um, and then it has this nice pointed tip can see there. So I'm just going to comb through my lashes and then just add a little bit of color, just filling them in where there's some gaps. I'm 
I wanted to stick with uh, like the rosy pinks and plum colors, so I'm going with this YSL number 14. Um, I believe these are called the liquid lip stains. Um, I probably should have known that before I started shooting this, but um, I think they're. I think they're called liquid lip stains, so I'll make sure to link that down below um, or write it right here on the screen. Um, but I have like five shades of these and I'm obsessed with them. They're, this is the thing, um, and it's gorgeous and it has like the beautiful YSL logo right here. Um, but then you pull them out and they have like these um, doe foot applicators, kind of like a concealer or a lip gloss. Um, and they're super pigmented, like I'll show you. This is the shade right here. Um, but you can kind of blend them out into something a little lighter, which is what I'm going to do. Just kind of dab it and blend it in. Um, but these last a really long time. I've used these on a few friends for weddings and stuff. So I really love these products. Um, and I'll kind of show you how I'm going to use it today. So I'm just going to dab like a couple of, and just really blend that in my right, finger. Just to kind of get like a wash of pink without it being like, neon and you can do this with any lip product like lipsticks and stuff like if you just wanted to wash and you don't want that dense pigment just dab it on and just blend it in with your finger or brush all right so this is our finished look i'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see so one second enjoyed this tutorial um, this is a wonderful makeup look for every day or for Valentine's Day um, or any other special date you have coming up um, I like it right now because like I said it's literally snowing outside right now and I feel like this just really brightens up my face and makes me feel like it's springtime you can tell with like my flowery shirt and my flowers in the background <laughs> I'm really ready for warm weather warm weather so um, that's why I did this look today but yeah definitely a Valentine's Day look date night um, if you're just going out with girls like like, beautiful look for that. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys soon. Bye.